Welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to change the dimensions or size of your slides. Now, why would you want to change the dimension or size of a slide? If you're presenting on a high resolution full HD TV in a conference room, or if you're using a projector that uses 16 by 9 or 1920 by 1080p resolution, when your computer monitor is an unusual size, Changing the dimension or slide size is quite easy. We'll start with a new blank presentation. Here we have a new blank presentation and we're on home. What we want to do is go up to the ribbon where it says design. Click on that. Move over to the right and we have slide size. You can see we have a standard 4x3 and we have a widescreen 16x9. Right now our widescreen 16x9 is selected. We also have custom slide size. If we select 16 by 9 and go down to custom slide size, it will show us the, slide, the size of our slide. And you can see here that we're at 13.333 by 7.5 inches. This is the same as 1280 by 720p or high definition HD. Okay, what if we want to change this widescreen to a high def, full high definition, 1920 by 1080p? What do we do? Well, we can select custom. And even if we don't select custom, if we change any of these sizes, it's going to select custom. And we're going to put in 1920 pixels. And it will convert it to inches for us. So 20 inches by... 1080 pixels and it's going to convert that to inches. We'll click down here. So we have 20 inches by 11 and a quarter. So it's a lot larger than our 13 by 0.333 by 7.5. And, and when we click OK and we can see right now that our slide size is much larger. Keep in mind as you go up in slide size, if your computer doesn't have enough power, it's going to slow it down quite a bit. Let's take a look at some of the other options under slide size. If we go down here, we come back down to custom slide. Once again, we have, we had our custom slide. We had our widescreen, which is the one, the default, the 13 inch by seven and a half inches and the PowerPoint. We also have two more here. We have on screen show 16 by 10 and on screen 16 by nine. If we click on the 16 by 9, it brings up 10 inches by 5 and 625 inches. This is the old or legacy size for PowerPoint. So in the old days, this was the size of your PowerPoint slide. If we go back to the 16 by 10, it's kind of an unusual size. It's 10 by 6 and a quarter, so it's more than an inch larger than the last one. And what it's used for is like, for example, MacBooks have this size and some of the newer laptop computers might also have this size. So we're going to go back to our widescreen here, the standard PowerPoint and click OK. And now we're back to where we started. It's important that you change your slide size before you begin building your slides. I'll repeat that again. It's important that you change your slides, your slide size before you begin building your slides. Here's an example why. This presentation, we see we have three slides. The first slide is the slide dimensions. The second one shows what we just discussed, the different sizes. And this is a visual of how it's laid out. And the third slide shows a lady's face. And we'll get into this slide later. Let's go back to slide number two. Now what happens if we change, right now these slides are 1920 by 1080p. They're the full high definition, as you see here. Remember the standard PowerPoint is just high definition. This is full high definition. Ultra high definition would be like 4K. So these slides are full high definition, 1920 by 1080p. And if we go back up to design, we go over to slide size and we're going to change this to a four by three. And this is what's going to happen if you do this after you build your slides. 
We brought up with a window that says maximize or ensure fit. Since our slide is bigger than what we're going down to, the 4x3, we want to maximize. And now the first thing we notice is our graphics do not fit into our slide. And if we go down to slide number three, we see our lady's face does not fit inside the slide either. So if we had a full presentation and we changed the slide dimensions, it could mean that we'd have to go back and change every one of our graphics in size. And you'll see where this becomes an additional problem when you're dealing with photos and videos. Let's go back to our slide size, our custom, our 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And we're brought with, up with the window again to maximize or ensure. Since we're going up in size, we want to ensure fit. And we're going to click on that. And now we're back to normal. So are we all done? No, don't be caught in the PowerPoint trap. Keep in mind that the standard PowerPoint widescreen and the slides in general are 96 dots per inch or about 72 pixels. So what you're looking at when you look at this even though this is, says 120 pixels, 300 pixels, it's not. It's really 72 pixels because that is what the slides are set up as default in PowerPoint. So even though our slide has been set up as a 1920 by 1080p and it's enlarged the, sli the slide itself, the photos and videos will not come out in high definition. So what happened? I brought this photo in at 120 pixels. I brought this photo in at 300 pixels. So what you're looking at though are photos that are actually at 72 pixels. When you do a presentation, when you're presenting and you're presenting this on a high definition TV or a high definition projector, then whatever you brought it in as, it will be projected or presented at that resolution. So even though this is 72 pixels on this slide, when we look at it, when we present it, it will be at the higher resolution. But like I mentioned, don't get caught in the PowerPoint trap. Because are these really what I 300 pixels and 120 pixels? How can we check to make sure if we, so we don't have to go out and look on the screen and guess, well, is this really presenting at the level we want? There is a trick in PowerPoint where you can go up to, first of all, you click on the photo and you go up to picture format up here, go over to compress pictures. This allows you to compress your pictures and make them smaller than what they really are. But if we look at this one, it also tells you what the size range is. It's not exact, but it'll give you an idea of what range you're looking at. If you look at this one, it 120 is actually down around 96 PPI, but it probably is still at, at 120. If I were to bring it off the page, either, any of these pictures, if I were to take them and put them into Photoshop off this PowerPoint slide, you would find out that they both dropped down, all three of them have dropped down to 72 pixels. But when we, once again, when we present it, it's a different size. Like this one is at 120. If we go over here to this one and we go up to picture format, compressed pictures, we will see that it's close to, to uh, 330. It's actually 300, but it's close to 330 pixels. So when you present it, you know that's going to be high resolution. Let's take a look at the one behind it. This is the same photo. This is the one I brought in at 300 pixels. And then what I did is I stretched it and enlarged it. This is the enlarged version. What is it at? If we go back up here, we look at this. Guess what? It's actually down around 150 pixels. 
I doubled the size, it cut the pixels or the resolution in half. So keep this in mind, when you, when you bring a picture in and we expand it, it's going to reduce the number of pixels it actually has in the presentation. So what you want to do is make sure that you bring your pictures in at the resolution you want and at the size you want on the slide. So I would actually make sure, I look at this dimension, I would bring my picture in at least this size in the, uh, in, uh, in the presentation. That way you can guarantee that when you present it, it will be the resolution you brought it in as. I know that sounds confusing, but just keep in mind what you see on the slide is not the same pixels that you will see on the screen. So if you want to make sure that you're presenting, for example, full HD, 1920 by 1080p or higher, you got to bring it into the size you want so that you don't have to expand it and it will retain that number of pixels. Whenever you can before the presentation, go through all your slides on the output device you're going to use for the presentation. Some devices might not work properly with your presentation and you'll have to make adjustments either in the presentation or the output device or both. Next, bring in your photos at the size you want them on the slide. Sometimes adjusting the photos as you've seen after they are on the slide can sometimes affect the resolution. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe.